I'm Marcus Ray. Over the middle, bounce and up. University of Michigan, 1998. Bounce up in the air and picked off. Play for Oakland Raiders. Intercepted by Marcus Ray. My affiliation with the Hall of Fame has a lot to do with the behavioral health side. Um, I was 400 pounds. Uh, and I was My divorce started to crumble, my marriage started to crumble around 07. And that's when I was really going to lose it, lose it. I was about 320 pounds. I called Lloyd Carr, I said, I need you to help me, or this will probably be the last time that we talk. And uh, I said, Coach, I need your help. I need a job. I want to get into coaching. Get me out of Columbus. I'm mad. I'm broke. I'm defeated. I started playing football at age seven and I just loved the essence of competition and contact. I was a rough kid, and I really loved scoring touchdowns and I liked tackling people. I liked being able to be like aggressive um, without it being like some type of penalty. You know, if you fight or you hit somebody in school or something, it's a punishment in society. But in football, it was, it was legalized uh, rage and, and you can just take it out on someone. So I love to compete. Um, I love to run the ball and I love to hit people. You know, I'm glad he came. He ended up being a great teammate, uh, you know, a great player. The energy and the passion that he brought to the field, I mean, he will, he will blow you up. I mean, he will, he will hit you. He really had a great understanding of the game, just football in general, offenses, you know, why they're doing certain things. And so I was always impressed by that, man. And, uh, you know, I think that's why, you know, our teams were so, you know, ended up being so good in winning, winning the championship is because, you know, I could rely on that guy to really help me with my understanding of the game. Yeah, me and Marcus, man, we, we go way back, man. Uh, you know, I remember during the recruiting process, you know, Marcus came down and visited me down in my hometown in Fremont. Fremont. And then they assigned me to Charles. You're going to be his host. You're from Ohio. He's from Ohio. He loves Michigan. Over the course of time, we end up becoming uh, roommates. I knocked on the door and I saw this narrow kid. He had some, some braids in his hair. He looked like a non-athlete. So Charles puts his highlight tape in and within the first 60 seconds, I said to myself, this man is unbelievable. I said, hey, uh, so what are we doing tonight? We hanging out? He said, I'm not hanging out with you. I only hang out with family. I said, oh. Three weeks later on his visit, he said, hey, where are we going tonight? I said, oh, we're not hanging out. I don't know you. <laughs> I don't hang out with recruits. From that day forward, we were best friends. We just always had a really close relationship, man. After he left, you know, um, college, went to the NFL, played a couple of years, you know, he started to uh, gain weight gradually over the years. When, when I knew football was over, that's when I started eating, drinking, feeling bad for myself. So I ran and got married trying to kind of cope with that, put a little band-aid. And I was mentally somewhere else, you know, was depressed. Um, I came home in 2010, and that's when I got my divorce papers, and it was, you gotta go. I didn't have anything. Um, I was 400 pounds and went through bariatric surgery, which was hard to do as a pro athlete. As a 200 pound All-American defensive back, the entire team, Jeremy Hogue and everybody, put this program together, and, and then Jeremy said, let's reach out to Ohio Health and the Hall of Fame because we couldn't figure out who was gonna do my surgery. So I was on Facebook and there was a group for those who stayed. Andrea Arnold is the founder of it. She said, there's some, there's some resources out there for former players in the NFL that you should look into. And maybe if, if they can put their funds together for those who stayed will cover the difference. Uh, Marcus uh, found out about us and, and reached out to us via Hall of Fame Health. And he, he had expressed some interest in bariatric surgery as he's seen his health and his weight deteriorate over the past couple of years. I lost my mind and couldn't believe it when I heard that Hall of Fame Health was getting involved to help me out in this situation. I know I'm not the only NFL guy walking around that's obese or that's well beyond his playing weight. We get stuff done for us a lot. 
when you're playing college ball or NFL. Someone's always doing something for you. But once nobody's there, who do you reach out to? He's suffering. His quality of life is suffering. And, and that's what I believe is the biggest reason for a patient to get bariatric surgery is when they, they aren't able to do the things that they want to do. And he wants this, he needs this, he deserves this because he, he deserves to live and experience the things that, that a human being should be able to experience with their family and their friends. First of all, you're supposed to be nervous. That's probably what my part was that. Yep, you're, you're supposed to be a little afraid. Before you can start losing, you gotta stop gaining. You know, yeah, you that's right. Get, you gotta get control of those habits. And then you can ride the wave of surgery and the education and the, the epiphany that surgery is. I think my patients also need me to, to, to be that coach who can hold them accountable and understand you know, what they're going through and the amount of commitment and discipline that they need to have if they're going to be successful with that. All right. All right. Thanks, Doug. You're welcome. I will see you Monday. Okay. He's getting a laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy and essentially I'm removing about 80% of the volume of his stomach. This isn't an issue of Marcus losing 20 pounds. He can do that and we all can do that, and most of us have done that. It's a matter of, of breaking this cycle and giving him this tool to allow him to, to change his life. What's up, Doc? How are you? How's it going, man? 31 pounds? Yep, we're working. Can you tell? Yeah, I can tell. I can feel it. I can feel it, and I can see it. It's, it's motivation and inspiration to keep going, and I know that this is real. He's doing great. Um, I, I would say he's really ahead of schedule at this point. Uh, you can hear it, you can see it in his voice and, and, and face. Um, he's feeling good. I, I feel like I'm living for more than just um, the day-to-day -day struggle, kids, bills, you know. I feel like I'm getting my life back. Man, right there. How are you? What's up, you? I'm trying, man. I mean, <laughs> All these players out, we might need to suit you up this weekend. I'm telling you, I got three plays. You ready? I'm a third down guy. Just got a call from ESPN. They want me to do all three, and I feel good because I can wear my suits again. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to stand in front of that camera without looking at myself in the telestrator saying, what are we doing? Right. Or what do these people think about me? So I'm We like long-term engagement of the patient. Once a patient, always a patient in this practice. And for that matter, that's how bariatric surgery should be done. We're changing the body's anatomy forever. And while I'm changing the gastric and small intestine anatomy, the brain anatomy, you know, may not change, but the feedback, life, the struggles, the work that you've got to invest in this, for patients who want to do well long-term, that requires maintenance. So we, we certainly give all of those resources to our patients. Yeah. Proud of you, man. Thanks, Doc. You're great. Good to see Proud you. Proud of you. Thank you all for right. everything. Yeah. What Hall of Fame Health did for me is allowed me to restore the positive energy that I know I've always had and I'm only halfway there. I think just for my wife, my kids, my mother, my grandmother, they're actually seeing that the person that they fell in love with or the person they used to know is coming back. And one time like um, our administrative assistant, Miss Teresa up front, when I came in just to grab something, she didn't even know who I was. She thought I was like a burglar or a customer or something, an intruder. So. I think, I think it was jaw dropping for everybody and they were happy for me and I think it was showing some inspiration to some other people. Um, he seems more outgoing, more engaged with everyone. He just, just seems like a better version of himself. 18, 19, 20. Woo! Okay. Okay. How y'all feel? Good. How y'all feel? Good. Let's get a laugh. Let's go. Let's hurry up. <laughs> I'm very proud because it shows his dedication to just everyone around him and what he's trying to do. So I'm very proud of his weight loss. Now that I've lost weight, you know, I, I feel like I can move, I can demonstrate, I, I, I can get back to my roots. When I was extremely heavy, I, I would just stay out, stay out of everybody's way. I was in the crowd. I didn't move much. I didn't demonstrate when I trained kids. But now I feel like I'm back at home. I'm here, so they saved my life. You know, I'm mobile, I'm on my feet, you know, I'm smiling again. Um, there's a life after being obese. I've lost 150 pounds in 12 months, and I'm back out here.